through history, disease outbreaks have ravaged humanity, sometimes changing the course of history, and at other times signaling the end of entire civilizations. In my previous video on this topic, link in description, I outlined some worst recorded plagues in ancient and medieval world. Check that video out if you can. Today, we will take a look at four most deadly plagues in history. Come with me. Hello everyone and welcome to Ancient Insights. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news, archaeology and other interesting research from around the world. We begin with the Italian plague. Even after the Black Death ended, bubonic plague continued to sporadically rear its ugly head in Europe for several centuries. One of the worst outbreaks began in 1629 when troops from the Third Year War carried the infection into the Italian city of Mantua. Over the next two years, the plague snagged its way across the countryside, striking the major cities of Verona, Milan, Venice and Florence. In Milan and Venice, city authorities quarantined the sick in penthouses and burned their clothes and possessions to prevent the spread of the infection. The Venetians even banished some of their plague victims to a pair of islands in a nearby lagoon. These harsh measures may have helped contain the scourge, but it still killed some 280,000 people including over half the residents of Verona. The Republic of Venice meanwhile lost nearly a third of its population of 140,000. Some scholars have since argued that the outbreak may have sapped the city-state's strength and led to its decline as a major player on the world stage. The Great Plague of London The Great Plague, lasting from 1665 to 1666, was the last major epidemic of the bubonic plague to occur in England. It happened within the centuries-long second pandemic, a period of intermittent bubonic plague epidemic which originated in China in 1331. The first year of the Black Death, an outbreak which included other forms such as pneumonic plague and lasted until 1750. The Great Plague killed an estimated 100,000 people almost a quarter of London's population in 18 months. The plague was caused by the Yersinia pestis bacterium, which is usually transmitted through the bite of an infected rat flea. The 1665 to 1666 epidemic was on a far smaller scale than the earlier Black Death pandemic. It was remembered afterwards as a great plague mainly because it was the last widespread outbreak of bubonic plague in England during the 400-year second pandemic. Reports of plague around Europe began to reach England in the 1660s, causing the Privy Council to consider what steps might be taken to prevent it crossing to England. Quarantining of ships had been used during previous outbreaks and was again introduced for ships coming to London in November 1663, following outbreaks in Amsterdam and Hamburg. Two naval ships were assigned to intercept any vessel entering the Thames estuary. Ships from infected ports were required to moor at Whole Haven on Cave Island for a period of 30 days before being allowed to travel up river. Ships from port free of plague or completing their quarantine were given a certificate of health and allowed to travel on. A second inspection line was established between the forts on opposite banks of the Thames at Tilbury and Gravesend, with instructions only to pass ships with a certificate. The quarantine duration was increased to 40 days in May 1664. As the continental plague worsened, and the area subject to quarantine changed with the news of the spread of plague to include all of Holland, Zeeland, and Friesland. The Great Plague of Marseille Western Europe's last major outbreak of medieval plague began in 1720 when a mortal distemper 
seized the French port city of Marseille. The disease arrived on a merchant ship to call the Grand Saint Antoine, which had picked up infected passengers during the journey to the Middle East. The vessel was quarantined, but its owner, who also happened to be Marseille's deputy mayor, convinced health officials to let him unload its cargo. Plague-carrying rat fleas soon spread across the city, sparking an epidemic. People died for the thousands, and the piles of bodies on the street grew so large that convicts were conscript to dispose of them. In nearby province, plague walls were even built in attempt to contain the infection, but it still spilled over into southern France before finally disappearing in 1722. By then, it had killed roughly 100,000 people. The Third Plague Pandemic The first two major plague pandemics began with the plague of Justinian and the Black Death. The most recent, the so-called Third Pandemic, erupted in 1855 in the Chinese province of Yunnan. The disease traversed the globe over the next several decades, and by the beginning of the 20th century, infected rats traveling on steamships had carried it to all six inhabited continents. The worldwide outbreak would eventually claim over 15 million lives before petering out in the 1950s. Most of the devastations took place in China and India but there were also scattered cases from South Africa to San Francisco. Despite the heavy casualties, the third pandemic led to several breakthroughs in doctors' understanding of the bubonic plague. In 1894, a Hong Kong-based doctor named Alexandra Yesin identified the bacillus Yesinia pestis as the cause of the disease. A few years later, another physician finally confirmed that bites from rat fleas were the main way the infection spread to humans. If you find this video interesting and want to learn more about our ancient past, kindly click on the playlist display for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and enable all notifications so you will be notified when we post new videos. Like, share and engage with us in comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.